Okay, so last time I installed Half-Life 2 on this Raspberry Pi and the response was super great. More than 25,000 of you tuned in and you can find that video just here. Today I'll show you exactly how to install Half-Life 2 on your own Pi. We'll go step by step and also take a deep dive on the graphics settings and how to boost performance. Ready? Let's do it. To get this done, you need a Pi, and a Raspberry Pi 5 is best, with Ubuntu installed. To get started, let's pull up a terminal, and we need to get our build tools installed. So sudo apt-get install build essential package config and ccache. Do you want to continue? Yes. Next up, we need to install our dev libraries. So sudo apt-get install libsdl2dev lib font config one dev lib open al dev that's the audio library lib jpeg dev lib png dev lib curl for gnu tls dev and last lib edit dev go do you want to continue yes And last but not least, let's grab the source engine source code. So first we'll install git. So sudo app get install git. Yes. And then git clone https github.com slash nilla user slash source engine dot git dash dash recursive go okay so now we've got everything we need it's time for the build so let's navigate into our downloaded source code cd source engine and first we're going to configure so python 3 dot slash waf configure minus t release dash dash prefix equals hl2 dash dash build games equals hl2 dash dash disable warns now we can also configure this with different parameters to get other source engine games running so we can use hl1 for half-life source or portal for portal i'll show a few of those at the end but for now let's forge ahead with half-life 2 so enter And now that's done, it's time for the build. So python3 dot slash waf build minus p minus v, go. Now on the Pi CPU, this is going to take some time. I'm going to fast forward the video, but when you do it yourself, get ready to wait. Okay, that took 25 minutes and 12 seconds, but the good news is it's time for the last command, which is install. So python3 dot slash waf install. With that done, we should have a Half-Life 2 folder. So if I navigate to source engine, hl2, and here we go, we have the Half-Life 2 launcher. Next up, we need the game assets. I have an Ubuntu PC over here, and I've installed Steam and downloaded Half-Life 2. I've also set up file sharing, so if I go back to the Pi and open up files, and then go to other locations, I can connect to my Steam PC, so SFTP, 
username at IP address. They're normally located in the user home directory under snap, steam, common, dot local, share, steam, steam apps, common, and here we are, Half-Life 2. So in here we want to grab these two folders, Half-Life 2 and platform. And I want to copy these to the Pi into our fresh source engine build. So paste. Do you want to merge? Merge. Whilst we wait for these to copy, I'm copying these files over the network. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to use USB stick and that's easier, go for it. Anything will work so long as the files get copied into this directory. Right, copy done, and it's the moment of truth. Let's double click the Half-Life 2 launcher. Right, we can see that at the default settings, it's choppy. If we go to the console and we type CL show FPS one, and we look up here, we can see that we're at single digit frames per second. So 100% we need to do some settings tuning. So let's turn everything down as low as it goes. Options, video, 960 by 540. Advanced, we'll put everything to low. Apply. Okay, that looks a lot better. We're in the 50 frames per second range, and I think we can up the settings a bit. So back to video, let's go up to 1280 by 720, and we'll bump the texture detail to high. Okay. Okay, that looks a lot better, and a quick frame check, we're still in the high 20s and just touching 30 frames per second. So let's try some gameplay. Go. So it's running pretty well. Now let's quit because I did say earlier on that we can build and install other Source Engine games. So if I go back to the terminal again, this time we'll configure with Python 3 dot slash waf configure dash t release dash dash prefix equals portal dash dash build games equals portal dash dash disable warns. So now we've told the build system to build portal instead. So same as before, let's build. So Python 3 dot slash waf build dash p dash v. Again, this will take a long time, but this time we're building portal. Now, lucky for us, that only took 18 minutes. Next, we do the install. So Python 3 dot slash waf install. Now, this time we should have a portal folder. So if we go home, source engine, scroll down, there it is, portal.
And same as before, we'll grab the game files from the Steam PC. So new window, other locations, and they're in snap, steam, common, dot local, share, steam, steam apps, common, and this time portal. Now this time we're gonna grab the Half-Life 2 platform and portal folders and copy those over to our Pi. And we're done. Now for portal, we need to launch it from the command line. So cd portal and then dot slash hl2 launcher minus game portal, go. Now, same as before, we'll fix the graphic settings. So options, video, we'll bring the resolution down to 720p. Apply. And we'll go into advanced and turn all the settings down to low, except texture detail, which we'll keep at high. Right, let's give it a try. New game and go. Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture signs material emancipation. Okay, closing thoughts. Personally, I'm super impressed that these games run this well on the Humble Pi. As a next step, we could try overclocking the Pi, but for now, let's leave it here. If you want to run your own build, I've also written this up on the blog with full instructions that you can copy and paste to get this all working. The link is in the video description. What are your thoughts? Are you tempted to try this on your own Pi? As always, comments and questions down below. Enjoy!